now the real question and what you should hopefully have been ready to hear all this time and have been waiting for me to say, so what? What does it mean? What does it do? What's the point? What do I get from it? So there's two big pieces to this. First of all, I want to know what's going on. I want to have a clear indication of what's going on on my site. And the second one is I want to know what I should do, how I should make use of this information in order to get to my goals. And generally those goals are going to break down into two parts. Goal number one is make it as good as possible for the user. Goal number two is make it as good as possible for us. Get us what we want from the site. And in the case of Facebook, what we want from the site is revenue. In the case of, um, uh, in, and in the case of most commercial sites, what we want is what we want is revenue. And we're going to try to figure out how to get more revenue out of the site. Okay, so let's go into each of those in turn. First of all, I want to figure out what's going on. And in order to figure out what's going on, I'm going to use something akin to a dashboard. And in fact, we call them dashboards in the web world just the same way that there are dashboards in the real world. So in the same way that your dashboard in your car tells you what's going on, how fast am I going, maybe what direction am I going, is there enough air in the tires, how much gas do I have, um, all of those different kinds of things that tell you the status, the current status of your car. Um, we have dashboards that tell us the current status of our site. And the dashboard that you see in the picture here is, um, is just of that sort. It's, um, it's one that tells us what's going on right now on the site. And now this is obviously not a dashboard for Facebook. This is a very simple dashboard. And I chose it because I wanted to give you first the simple concept. So this dashboard tells me things like um, what's the average time people are on the site, how many people have I had today, um, what's my most popular page, all those kinds of things. So this dashboard is a very simple one and it's telling me on a minute by minute basis, how's it, what's, what's up? What's up with my site? How's it, you know, how's it performing at the moment? So when you think about the dashboard, the, the equivalent dashboard for something like Facebook, you should really think in terms of the difference between the dashboard in your car that one person uses and maybe the control room of a nuclear power plant. You know, if, you've, if you have that idea in your mind of you know, lots and lots of people looking at lots and lots of indicators all over the place with you know, a, a vastly more sophisticated and, and uh, differentiated set of indicators than you'd have in your car. Right? So, first question. What's going on? We have uh, some variety of dashboard or control center that tells us what's going on on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, all the things we need to know. And some things you might, might guess that everyone wants to know is where are people dropping off? When are they leaving? How long do they stay? What are the big, what are the big winners? You know, which pages are most popular? Which things are getting on Facebook? Which things are getting liked the most? Which ads are the most popular? All those kinds of things are telling me what's going on. Okay, we have what's going on and then there's like, what do I do? 